Guys, 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 you gotta understand, Netlink Daily isn't just a show, it's a lifestyle. Central Park. Central Park. NVIDIA has launched the GeForce GTX 950 after many rumors about its existence, which is usually what happens. It uses the same GM206 GPU found in the 960, but slightly cut down. Seems like the reviews, a bunch of which we'll link in the news sources below, are saying it's a pretty decent addition to the mainstream end of NVIDIA's GPU lineup. It's got good performance in less demanding games and playable performance in more demanding ones like GTA 5, although you will have to turn down the settings for that. All for around 160 bucks US, although as usual, there's a ton of overclocked variants and whatnot, Click here for our own review if you want me to say basically what I just said, but for like five minutes. Intel's chief graphics software architect, David Blythe, has told Tech Report that the company plans to include support for the Adaptive Sync standard in future products. Adaptive Sync is the refresh rate technology behind AMD's FreeSync, which lets monitors display frames as soon as they're produced by the GPU instead of being fixed at a specific rate. We probably won't be seeing Adaptive Sync capable products from Intel anytime soon, as support for the standard is not standard in current hardware. But it begs the question, if Intel and AMD are both supporting Adaptive Sync, will NVIDIA still hold on to their proprietary G-Sync? Come on, NVIDIA, join the party. Drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> A few days ago, we mentioned that Project Aura had been delayed, and now we know why. The project's team has announced they're working on a new solution for holding the device's modules in place, which was previously accomplished using electro-permanent magnets. They initially said the change was due to the phone failing a drop test, but then said that was a joke. A hilarious, super funny joke that filled us all with raucous laughter. <laughs> the team also said they're working on improving the camera and battery life of the phone, and that wasn't a joke, but I don't even, I don't even know what to believe anymore. <sighs> Quick bits. There were rumors a while back that AMD had a special deal with SK Hynix to get first dibs on high bandwidth memory, but now Samsung's planning on making it themselves, so HBM might get a lot more pervasive. An international team of crime-fighting physicists has figured out a way to build interconnects between electronics using entangled quantum particles, which could help make computers better? I don't know. Also, I made up the crime-fighting part. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, the company who's working on Elon Musk's vacuum tube transportation idea, announced some new partnerships and plans to start construction on a full-scale, passenger-ready Hyperloop in 2016. And Huawei unveiled the Honor 7i, a phone with a single camera that flips from the back to the front, just like Oppo's N series of phones. I, I like this. Let's, let's do more of this. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all something, okay? Patong, put, patong, patang, patan. And never forget it. Oh, so you gotta go back to school, but don't fret. NCIX is something that'll put a smile on your face. It's the NCIX's legendary back to school sale event ends August 26th. Man, there's some killer deals. Like in Canada, you can get an A Data SP550 240 gigabyte SSD for $97.98. We cut off the 99 because that's too high. And in the US, you can get a Corsair Vengeance 12 gigabyte DDR3 RAM kit for $74.99. That's 70 bucks off. Ooh, it tickles my tum tum. So click here or the link in the description for all the details. You got it. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here for more videos and put your eyes in this part of the screen to see our tweeters. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Or my name isn't Kayes. It's actually not. It's Riley. Legally.